Hi folks, I'm Josh, and this is Strawberry Cubes, a particularly bizarre game in which you get to explore this glitchy world, and I think I should start with a seizure warning. Those little flashes, there are bigger versions as you go into a different screen. The whole uh, level kind of draws itself, but it also flickers. Um, that's one of the cool things, but if you've got photosensitivity, then I'm afraid this game is not for you. That's such a cool effect, by the way. This black and white drawing in, that's not even the half of it. Can I change the color? Yeah, I can. Yeah, all of the colors. Because this game is about breaking rules. I don't understand it. I don't think the game understands itself. But you can do all sorts of cool stuff, like go into an alternate place and then just you just press buttons, see what happens, uh, and then pff, whatever, a, a thing happens. I have experimented with this game several times. Eventually it'll just... it'll just crash on you. Because it's too mad! It's too mad for its own good. And honestly, you just don't know what's gonna happen from time to time. I just spawned a frog. Look, I can now spawn a billion frogs. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. Although the frogs are enemies I kind of and now I'm stuck. <laughs> uh okay. Let's Yeah, oh I managed to avoid it. Right. Oh and there's lots of what's that kind of bouncy green thing? Let's change the colour again while I'm doing that. Let's spawn a billion me's Instead. Yep. Can't go wrong with a billion me's. No, I'm just... Oh, I've really screwed myself here. <laughs> oh. Balls. Hang on. There must be a button to go somewhere else. There we go. That showed us a vision of a place I think we have to go. So if I spawn lots of me... Because you, you can just kind of glitch through walls. The game invites you to break it. It doesn't make any sense. I don't think it ever will. Um, but seriously, this... This is mesmerizing. I've... I just... Yep. Uh, every now and again, the game kind of tells you to do a thing. Like, in the bottom right, it's telling me to go up. So I'm, I'm going to go up. Can I go up? Can I plant a seed? Yes, I can plant the seed. Seeds grow upwards, obviously. And that lets you progress. So, like, sometimes there are platforms you can't quite get to. Because you can just glitch up a wall like this. Obviously, that's... <sighs> that's the thing you do to get around in this game. You can't jump. You can't do anything like that. You can plant seeds, and you can glitch through walls. Hang on, can I glitch through here? Just, oh, if I spawn me in the middle. Okay. Yeah, if you press M, all of the different drawing blocks things. It kind of reminds me of, I think it's called the game of life. Like, there's a pixel, and it has to be next to two other pixels of the same color to survive. And if it isn't, then it dies or something. And then, like, it it's, goes through a cycle of, like, this death and, and building and, and producing and spawning sim the same pixel in an adjacent square. And then uh, if that square becomes isolated, then it slowly dies off. And then it falls into these predictable patterns like this kind of... Uh, cycling flashy texture thing that's going on here. Um, that's just kind of a side note. It's really cool. There's an entire Wikipedia entry on it. There we go. Let's glitch through that wall to the left. That's where that... Oh, it takes us down there. Oh, and apparently it interacts with your character. That's cool. Uh, let's go down here. Because <laughs> I... I'm finding it... I've, I've really... The one mystery that I really haven't unwoven is the fact that every time you kind of fall from a distance the number next to your body changes right there and this game is full of mystery and um, also my my other main mystery is please why do you crash 
A billion of you, please. Let's go through there. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Let's do that again. I think it's really fun and, and really interesting it, the way it explores how games are sometimes just broken. Oh, there was a star. Oh, and a key. Okay. And frogs. I'm. Oh, I've never had a thousand before. Let's just keep going, shall we? Oh, there's the secret garden again. Huh. Let's just keep going. See what, see what we can find. Oh? Oh, we're down at the secret garden number six again. Hmm. If I press that. If I press, like, all the buttons. Oh, I haven't been here before. Oh, I think I have. I've been mo I've been to the m most of the places, or I guess you could call them screens in this. But yeah, they all connect in weird ways, and they skip about, and they go around in loops. And I don't think the game is supposed to make sense because it is kind of intentionally broken in the weirdest way. No, oh no, I didn't mean to come back here. I hate coming back here. It's boring because <laughs> I've been there so many times occasionally there'll be like buttons like that kind of fluctuating thing above the floaty cube in the middle there that says eight so if I press eight oh my god I'm an eagle now ah uh, occasionally you'll turn into an eagle when you use one of those kind of warp thingy doodads oh well um if you can make any sense out of this game Please help me. I want to know. I want to know what the game is about. If it is even about a thing. But apart from that, it's beautiful. It's it's glitch art beautiful. And if you're into that, then yeah, that's it's definitely going to give you a lot to explore. And on the exploration side of things, I think it is beautiful in the fact that exp the exploration not only happens with the areas, but it also happens with the broken mechanics and just doing stupid things like this. So thank you everyone for watching. You can download this game for free on Itch.io and I will see you next time.